Hello and welcome to Let's Play Rise and Fall of Civilization Japan Episode 8. This is your Funky Honky and we are in the process of getting ready to start colonizing the island south of us. There's some very nice resources down there and they can be very useful. And in addition to that we also have our nice little great merchant here who's making his way across the planet trying to get to Europe. So, let's keep rolling. I think as soon as I'm done with the, uh, the big one Paya there, I'm going to build, first build a castle and, and probably equip it with some couple more units. Archer, a longbowman, and maybe a couple pikemen in case they send horses at us. Can never be too careful with these guys, you know what I mean? So, moving on. And of course, this CD's gonna skip too. Dreamer! Enzo! It's it's Dreamer! Die! Huh? Did you? No, no, I'm not helping you. You suck. Man, you just wait till the Mongols show up. Ooh! Great engineer. You're going to build me the Sistine Chapel. BAM! Just like that. Sistine Chapel. Plus two culture for every uh, specialist that you have in every city. Oh look. See how much they hate us just because we're not Islamic. So, yeah. But we'll have peace because I don't want you to destroy my guy. Ooh, sheep. Do I have anything you want? Here. You want rice for sheep? Would you accept that deal? Cool. Later. Alright, you hop on the boat and on your way down to the Philippines. Why did it kick its way out like that? That was weird. Okay, then it needs a Christian missionary and a worker to finish it off. And so, now, since I'll actually remember this time, here's the lovely video of the Sistine Chapel being built. And they didn't even fo oh, there we go, I was about to say. How could you do the Sistine Chapel and not focus on the art? Oh, there we go. Plus five culture from all Christian buildings, plus two culture for every specialist in every city, and plus ten culture for KO. It's a great, great thing. Alright, you hop onto the ship there, get ready to roll out, now we just need a worker. You! Oh, we get to go say hi to the Greeks now! Okay, Christian missionary, all that's left is a worker. Go ahead with that, and roll. And we wait. And sorry if I'm not entertaining enough. No, you're not getting my world map. And engineering. Nice. Hop on the boat, and head on south. Hi, Greece. Nice to meet you. We would like to make a trade proposal. You don't have anything that we want. Bye-bye. Alright. Start heading on south. And there it is. The, tip, the northern tip of the Philippines. Alright, let's go guilds so that we can build um, optics, so that we can start building caravels, so that we can be the first to circumnavigate the globe, so that we can get a plus one bonus to all of our ship's movement. Because I don't want anyone else to get it because I'm stingy like that. First, build a lighthouse because you're going to get sick very soon, or at least you would if I didn't build a lighthouse. In fact, now I'm curious. I'm going to have to check that out, see if we would have actually been sick or not. Oh well, we'll find out in just a moment. But as you can see here, we are still the highest score. Sign open borders for all members. No! Okay. You see it's all jungle. Nobody can nobody can walk on the jungle. Except 
unfortunately, you've got the one spot of clearing right down there. Okay. And, uh, yes, go, go ahead and get a theater. Just get rid of it and get the plus one happiness from the die. It's always a nice thing. So, let's see how things are going. Sapporo's got 23 turns left on its uh, forge. Germany just converted back to Islam. Freaking louts. And here we go. The one spot on the entire island. Well, you could also build on the copper, but why would you want to do that? That you can actually build a city. And you know what? And it's a pretty good spot. The only problem is you don't get the sugar within your fat cross, but that's okay. You get gold, copper, silk, and bananas. Alright, so now you head back to Matsuyama. You drop off your cargo here. Okay. Heading into Europe now. We've got the theater. Um, yeah, just because I'm not 100% on you being happy, we're going to build the amphitheater, and then we are going to build a harbor. And Tokyo is going to explode in population, which is why I wanted to make sure I had all my bases covered for health and for happiness. So, we're Arabia has declared war on Persia. That's nice. And we built our first overseas colony. Nice. Hello, Byzantium. You need a granary. Always build a granary first. The longer you go without a granary, the more food you waste. Remember that, kids. So, we're going on here. Last time I checked. Probably going to need to wrap things up fairly soon here, but... At least get in touch with the Romans. See what wonky religion they are. And that's not to say that any religion other than Christianity is wonky. No, I'm not going to declare war on the Persians. Heck no. Alright. Hello, Rome. You're Islamic too. Everybody, all of Europe's Islamic. How weird is that? There shall be peace in our time, though. I'll give you aesthetics for your map. Nice. And just like that, where once was dark, now is light. And you, you're going... Let's see, what's the biggest city? Probably Rome... Nope. As I expected from the start, we're going to Amsterdam. Okay. Unload those. Head in. All right, now that we've got the map of the world, you know, such a good map, except for, you know, of course, the new world, because nobody has optics yet. You automate. And I think that does it for this episode. This has been episode 8 of Let's Play Rise and Fall of Civilization Japan. Stay tuned for episode 9. This has been your Funky Honky, and I hope you'll see me next time.